Now, the CEO of France's second largest bank has outlined to CNBC that his company's exposure to Greece, which amounts to over 3 billion euros, uh, is that figure that they're looking at. Speaking to a Paris reporter, Stefan Pedrazzi, CEO Frédéric Odea explained that while it owns a 54% uh, stake in a Greek lender, Geniki, its exposure to other Greek banks is, quote, insignificant. In an exclusive interview, uh, Stefan asked Mr. Odea how the crisis in Greece will play out? I think first of all there is an overreaction of the market. Uh, the Greece situation is a serious one but there has been a program which has been decided by the international community and which is going to be put in place and we've not seen such a large program uh, in this trade so that should help Greece with also its internal reform to um, uh, recover progressively. And Greece as you know, is a small economy in the uh, European area. There is currently a fear for other uh, economies, but they are in a very different situation. And I think there is, again, an overreaction of the market. Mm -hmm. Regarding our exposure, we are communicating it. Uh, our total exposure for the full group, all subsidiaries included, is on the sovereign risk, 3 billion euros. Are you worried about the possible contagion to Portugal, to Spain? I think Europe, generally speaking, uh, has to, uh, uh, to develop a, a new growth model and certainly governments, every government has to deal with the consequences of the crisis on the public finance, the deficits and the debts and adopt effectively a, a disi strong discipline on the, on the budget. But as I've said, the economies are in a very different situation and you cannot compare Greece with the other countries. So I think there is uh, clearly a overreaction from that perspective. Do you feel that the recent crisis around Greece uh, shows that we may need a rating agency in Europe? At the end of the day, what is important is really the, the reality of the finance, uh, and the public finance, public debt, public deficits. Uh, the way I see uh, the, the crisis is that w most uh, European countries had structural problems in the past uh, and effectively the crisis has increased uh, the, the, the magnitude of the problem to deal with. So now it's up to the governments to find the ways to progressively uh, uh, adjust the deficits. Uh, the rating agencies, they, they, they look at the situation, they might have their views, they have not been always right as you, we've seen in the crisis. Uh, globally what is important is the, the determination, the commitment of the governments to deal with the situation and I'm personally confident in their capacity to do that.